The Striker Chord Podcast. Music chit chat with your hosts, Valentina Gikowski and Amla Piriakab. Hey everyone, welcome to Striker Chord. Today we are going to talk about performance anxiety. Yes. Oh, a so. Big, uh, big, big, big topic. <laughs> big topic. Yes. We're not we're not professionals at it, but we have experienced it at some time or another. Definitely, and we can we can just share our um our thoughts, our thoughts on experiences, it. Experiences. Yeah. Thoughts. Um Yeah, Valentino, like um how do you I mean, do you f- experience it now these days? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. On mm. on the on the bigger on the bigger gigs, on the bigger shows. Um, definitely. On your smaller gigs where sometimes you're in the background. <clears throat> That's an that's an easy gig. So mm. sometimes you get ignored, which is a good thing sometimes because you can <laughs> experiment and do 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 your do your experimental stuff and and and, and rehearse a little bit. Yeah. But on those on those big jobs, <laughs> um, it's yeah, it's a funny thing. I think sometimes you can prepare, 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 and then you jump on stage and then you sort of like see everyone and everyone's listening, everyone's quiet, and it's like. All eyes Ooh, on you. <laughs> yeah. Um, how do I deal with it? Well, I have changed my approach in the last maybe couple of years, a year, maybe a year to two years, where I try as much as possible to um, picture everything beforehand. Mm. Try and picture, go, go through the motions as much as I can. But um, – I'm a firm believer in meditation. So meditating for me actually is is a help. Um, also knowing <clears throat> knowing your stuff. If you know your stuff inside out, you jump on stage and you know you you can you you can afford to drop a little bit because of the nerves because you know the the the, the, the material so much. Um, but I, th- I, th- I yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a big thing. It's a funny thing. Different different venues, different places, different people can cause different things and different levels of anxiety. Um, what about you, Amla? Well, I wanted to actually uh, before I go into it, uh, I wanted to ask about the meditation. Like, what kind? Because there's so many forms of oh, meditation. Well, like- um, there's uh, well, there's a few types. Uh, sometimes I do guided med- meditation, and that takes a bit longer. Um, that's when I've got a bit more free time, but. Sometimes before, even like before a gig, if I can get out of out of all the hoo ha for about five minutes and go lock myself in a room somewhere, yeah, um, I do a bit of a five minute, five or ten minute meditation if if, if time allows. Um, but every day, I I actually um, make an effort to get outside in the backyard and ground myself and just barefoot in the grass mm. um, and do my meditation there, and that that helps a lot of things for me. Yeah. Um, it, I think it just helps put all the files back in my, my brain <laughs> and <laughs> organize everything. So, um, yeah, that's that's some of the meditation I do. And then I sometimes I get into the longer meditations where, yeah, I start seeing colors and opening up chakras and stuff like that. But that's that that helps me a lot, and that helps me a great deal. If if I've been as well in like in uh, re- rehearsing or in a studio or, or, or recording. Um, there's a lot of things happening in in your brain because you got your your headphones on, and there's a lot of information getting into the brain. Then you stop and 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 you go and meditate, and everything everything just like re, sort of resets. Um, but that's what helps me towards, I suppose, my, my music and 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 towards my um, sort of bring myself back down to to a, a norm, whatever that norm is, mm. you know, normality. But what about you? Yeah, well, um, I I'm similar to you with the meditation. I feel that helps ground me, as mm. in just gets me out of my head and back into the the body and into the, like the. I also like to walk around barefoot outside whenever yep. I can. There's something about not having shoes on and oh, having your feet it's the planted. ground that that the earth, Mother Nature, that you are connected to, and that's why you feel like that. Yeah, yeah, the the feel and reminding yourself that um, there is the earth is holding you. <laughs> we forget. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, we forget. forget. We forget, and we forget that we 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 always wear shoes and these synthetic things, and 
Yeah. Yeah. You're, yes. you're spot on about that. Um, so that definitely helps me as well, the meditating. Um, I do a lot. So I still, like you, experience um, the performance anxiety, especially if it's a gig that I've organised. Mm. Uh, like you said, big, if big I'm one. playing in yeah. the background, I'm not. I'm just like, yeah, just come out and have fun. But yeah. my approach now is just try and enjoy everything, come with that fun approach. Yep. Don't have um, – we create so many expectations of how we want the gig to go and so that's part much. of the anxiety. Yeah, I feel like I that agree. for me creates the anxiety, the expectations. We, we're, we're our own worst critics. Um Definitely. Yeah, and Definitely. for me it took a gig to not fulfill any of the expectations I had and it was a gig I arranged for me to really rethink my approach and to go, okay. you know, do I want to be a musician? Um, do I want to enjoy really? – yeah. so It was you- more cause it, I just fell – I had all my expectations with this performance going a certain way and Jeez. it um, really didn't fill any of those <laughs> criteria. Really? Yeah, and it was it was about a year ago actually. Okay. It wasn't that long ago. So that, that was the, the, so you put yourself in that situation where this was it. Should I be or shouldn't I be? Well, it was a combination of if I want to continue. It was more if okay. I want to continue doing this. Do I really want to feel this way? Uh, do I okay, really want to um, expect things to go a certain way and to mm. feel disappointed? And really, because Jeez. I don't want to feel that. No one wants to feel that with every no. performance. So then I just thought, you know what? Regardless of what happens, just Enjoy it, set yourself. I didn't set myself up to, like you said, even with um, preparing and little things like that, I didn't give myself enough time. So yeah. then uh, when I was nervous, it it showed yeah. a lot more than, like you said, one, if you know the piece inside out pieces, yeah. then you you can allow that drop a little bit because people won't realise that. Correct, it's a, so true. But you had that added that added stress of you organising that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah and that was my first that, one for, yeah. um, I don't even probably ever done one other gig where I'd organise mm. in my life. So yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. like a big, I'd put too much pressure on myself. Well, and, I can, I can yeah. speak to that because I've organised a fair few gigs of my own. Yeah. And it is pressure. It is um, not only your expectation but if you're playing with people and you're playing in the band, their expectation. Their expectation and how also my expectation of them as well, and yeah. I wasn't um, yeah, satisfied. Yeah, yeah. And how do you how do you <laughs> how do you approach that? Like that, even that's yeah. anxiety. Like, yeah. how am I gonna how am I gonna communicate this to the rest of the people? Where do I just go out and say it, or do I go in a roundabout way, or don't I say anything at all? Yeah. Um, do I just you know? Do I let it go? It? Do I let it go? And yep. just Hopefully, the next time it's better. That's what I ended up doing. I just let it go and thought, okay, that was a learning. Uh, you, you've got to take everything as a learning experience. Yeah, That's, yeah, of course. And I just realised after that gig, I'm like, I want to enjoy it. Like I enjoy music. I want to really yeah. enjoy it. So just have fun with it. I've learnt what not to do for next time and I'm glad That's that experience key. happened because um, I've really finessed the flow. flow finessed the flow. <laughs> you got to learn how to finesse the flow and not only finessing mm-hmm. the flow in your in your playing but in the existence of of your career. you got to finesse the flow in your career too because yeah. if you don't if you don't have that energy and that thing running you're always going to feel that touch more of anxiety exactly which, which can go it can tip you over the edge of making mistakes you know on stage it can tip you, tip you over the edge of making mistakes with people in the band yeah you and know? even so we all make mistakes yeah. so i'm not taking ourselves so seriously yeah. as well and the audience and like that's I've, so true it's so true and um i've even seen performances where i really enjoyed it and um, the performer wasn't necessarily the greatest musician. Yeah. They were good, but their energy and their enthusiasm. So, so that, I've just that makes, doesn't it? It really makes. I think yeah. people prefer. I mean, in the end, people want someone who's really enjoying what they're exactly, doing. Exactly, exactly. So that's what I'm taking in to my recent performances. Every performance I do now, but the anxiety back to the anxiety. Yeah, the meditating. But for me as well, I I've learnt with. Um, posture, little things like that. Okay. So right before a gig, if you're sitting like this, yeah. like a, on an interview, yeah. you, you really need to just open up the um, body and even just having the arms out here, you yeah. feel more confident. And yeah. Breathing as well. Bre- oh, yeah, that when was the next When you're breathing, you actually, your posture actually, you got you got to breathe. So when you're breathing, your, your posture actually actually becomes Opens better. Opens up, you yeah. Know? yeah. But your, breathing is so important. We forget to breathe. Oh, we forget to breathe. Yeah, we um, hold our breath um, quite Often, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, and we're, we're in that. Um, that's where we're in that um, fight or flight, mode. yeah, exactly. And you're thinking, oh, you know, but we're not aware of it because we're just, no. we're not, um, 
well, this is where the meditation helps. Yeah, so I'm sure you correct. can agree. Like as soon you start to feel your body and go, oh, I feel a bit tense here. What's going on here? Yeah. And then you start to explore it. Yeah. And you go, oh, okay, that's, um, oh, yep, yeah, just breathe into that. and Exactly. Yeah. And, and I think that that breathing and everything, it, it, it takes your uh, mind off your job at hand and just saying, all right, hang on, I'm here. Just let, let it go a little bit. Present and, moment. Yeah, the yeah. present moment. Yeah. Even the moment. And that's, that's very important. And, and like you said before, don't take things too seriously. I know we're, we're, we're pro musos and stuff like that, but I think like earlier on I used to take things so, so seriously and I used to, I used to have anxiety before, during and after the yeah. gig. Um, and that didn't do me any good. Um, you, you don't play good. You don't. You're not open. You're not. You know. Look, everyone's going to make mistakes. If if the mistakes are really, really bad or you know, like repetitive, well, then you need to do something about that off stage. Yeah. Yeah. Not on stage. Never have that discussion, like you know, on stage and stuff like that. Or if there's something that, if there's something that you need to communicate on stage. Um, make sure it's really quick. Like if there's a sound or something, or someone should turn down, or someone should turn up, or make that quick so that the audience doesn't doesn't realize that it's happening. Yeah, you know, yeah. Um, because that also causes anxiety. You know, like yeah, all those little things that all can those little things, that, yeah. and then then they build up. If this has gone wrong. Then then it's a domino effect. Yes. Well, once one thing goes wrong, then everything goes wrong, and then it's Murphy's law. Like everything yeah. that's that can go wrong will go wrong, and that's that's perception, and that's your. That's your um, your outlook. If if you say I'm going to make a mistake, hey, you're going to make a mistake, you know. Yeah. So, so and that also contributes to anxiety a lot. Think positive as much as you, as much as you can. I know sometimes it's it's hard, um, but yeah, enjoy the moment. You're on stage. You're 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 performing to these people, and and I know you want to do the best possible performance you can, but sometimes you just got to snap out of that thing and say, all right, look, I'm here. I'm now, you know. They're here to see you yeah. perform. We forget that. We forget that. <laughs> we forget we that do, we're like, we? oh, oh, like, we forget yeah. that so much yeah. on stage. They and actually want us to succeed. They don't yeah. want us to. They're that's there. why they're there. They're there to enjoy yeah, the, yeah. what we're doing. So yeah. true. So that's so true, Amla. It's um, yeah, we we, we forget. We forget. That. Yeah. We forget. Yeah. And we just need to refocus, <laughs> refocus on that. And um, yeah. Look, anxiety. Uh, anxiety is is a, is a is a is a negative thing, right? But if you indulge into it and you delve into it and you don't get yourself out of it, um, it can be a, a, a negative thing multiplied by twenty or or, or hundred. You got to fight that in your in your head. So getting getting prepared, being prepared, obviously is going to lessen your anxiety. At when you get to the gig, um, if you're playing with the other band members. Sometimes other band members have anxiety, and they, you know, they can reflect that on everyone else. We, well, I noticed that with well, I can't remember which one. One of the performances we've done a while ago. Um, I think we all had a bit of anxiety and oh, combined the one, it. Yeah, the one last year, I think <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah, we all had it. But I was actually quite quite all right. Yeah, I was, yeah. everyone else had anxiety. Oh, you I was fine. quite all right. <laughs> Considering that we had to arrange for ten different musicians and at ten different places of the concert yeah and it was it was it was quite a big thing but i didn't really i didn't really think of it like that i mm. thought we'd just go out there and just play no that's beautiful and i was fine but everyone else yeah and, and I it's was usually confused. the other way around yeah right it's, i remember being confused at that gig because um, i wasn't the main performer and i was i walked in relatively relaxed and then i think i must have actually the collective like you said when someone when there were a few people who are anxious there yeah. all of a sudden i felt myself becoming nervous and i went what's going on yeah here? the energy they were giving it giving you yeah. the energy and i actually um i did a lot of meditation before that and i yeah. meditated at the at the at the venue <laughs> as well and i came i was fine yeah i, I, I was fine i mean you know i think it was the first one of the one of the well not first but one of the rare um, shows that I did where I wasn't nervous and everyone else was. <laughs> it's usually the other way around and everyone's just coming in, yeah, yeah, we'll just do it. And I'm there, yeah, yeah, we're going to do it, but how are we going to do it? Yeah. So, yeah, and, yeah I mean, and I was I was quite I was quite happy at the end of the gig because yeah. it wasn't it wasn't um, just about playing the gig. I had all my, my, my friends there. Yeah. Like all these musicians that are my friends, 
you know, we were all playing together and, and that's why I organised it. And I thought, you know, this is – that's when I lived in the moment. It was yeah. like, you know, it's all going to be fine. It's all going to be done. Enjoy. Like, Yeah, like <laughs> all, like the tickets were sold. Everything was done. Everything was, you know, the, the only thing that was left just to play f- music and have fun. But, yeah, you're, 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 you're right about – you know, Someone else's and and then how the do you venue. handle that? Um, yeah, how, I actually, how, how do you how do you handle it? Yeah, well, like what you said, um, I ended up removing myself from that room. It's the self awareness as well, and yeah. that comes from meditating. So much. So I, if I, I could have just let that consume me, and I would not have known that I was anxious, I would have yeah. just. But I just went, oh, I felt it straight away. I went, what's going on here? Yeah, and I yeah. half laughed and then I just ex- I just left a room and found a quiet space and just yeah. started breathing. Yeah. And then going, because we try to resist these feelings, right? And what we resist persists. Uh, so true. It's true. I like, so I like that one. What, we, what you resist persists. So I just went into the other room and went, okay, where am I feel? I like to ask myself. I got this from a lady called Tara Brack. Okay. Um, I just asked myself, um, what am I feeling right now? You know, it's just what I'm feeling now. It's not who I am. Yep. And then going, where where in the body is this feeling? And then normally I think with anxiety for me, it's in the gut. Yeah. And then I'm like, Same. okay, breathe into that and then yep. um, let it be there. And then if you let it be there, because as soon as we just tense up, we, we make it so we multiply it. Yeah, right? it's so, so true. So you just let it be there and you might need a few minutes. Um, yeah. Sometimes, like you said, there's not enough time, but at least you can calm it down a bit yeah. by accepting it. The acceptance Correct. of it that's right helps it to so so true the acceptance and also what 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 works for me is the when you accept that it's there and just in your mind you just push it aside all right you I, mean, I know yeah. you're there just yeah. push it aside yeah I'll deal with you later yeah you're there. after, after the it's show fine. or yeah. after after the, I'll deal with you later yeah. it's not you're there I know you're there but I'll deal with you later it's and that's like how a I visitor. You yeah, know, like, yeah. It's, it's not like, there to stay. It's like that that, that, that <laughs> troublesome uncle that gets pissed <laughs> or drunk at a thing. He's just, yeah, 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 just, yeah. Don't worry, just stay aside and we'll deal with you later. But, <laughs> um, it's, yeah, it's a very important thing, that self-awareness that you mentioned before. Um, I, there's, there's, the last show that I did, I wanted to try something and I've totally forgot about it, where sometimes you're, before you go on stage, you don't think. You're just thinking about, you know, that 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 last minute. You're thinking about, oh, I'm going on stage. I'm going on stage. You know, people are going to be there, whatever. Mm. But I wanted to try and do a checklist in my in my mind where breathe, take things slowly, yeah. and live in the moment. Because, and I think I have to remind myself of that, like before every piece. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to try next time because sometimes you start the pieces, you're nervous and you start the pieces fast and then it sort of confuses people in the band. It's like if you're calm and because I'm, I'm still I'm the leader and everyone's looking at me for the next move, it's like ha- however I set the mood or set the pace, that's that's how it's going to be sometimes but they're not always right. So the nerves get to you, you'll probably start things a bit, a bit faster and then it's like – no, no, people in the band go, Jesus, what's going on? So I think these are the things where you just, you know, bring yourself down a little bit, breathe into where you're, you know, into your gut or wherever you want to breathe into. Just even after every 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 song is just, mm. it's finished and just breathe and absorb the energy of the people. And then I love that. That's what I'm going to try next time. I, 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 yeah. I wanted to try it last time but, again, I fell into that little bit of anxiety. and things that, yeah. But it was funny before – before the uh, – like we were in the green room and we were practicing and playing and, and it was fine. I was so relaxed. It was like, yeah, yeah, I can't wait to get on. Got on and when I sat on the chair and it was like – so everyone was like, okay. And then I forgot to breathe, you know, yeah. and then and I just started and I, I, it just didn't feel right. So sometimes you'll Take see – Yeah, you'll see classical musicians. Yes. You know, even guitarists or pianists, they'll, they'll come on and people are waiting. They're taking their time. Yep. The grounding themselves and then the you seem really liberty to say like, and then they'll start. It's so true. It's such an important point you've brought up because we f- it's almost like we we um feel bad about the audience waiting as well. Yeah. Yeah, and we, we just that, gotta let go so of true. that. Yeah, we, and what feels like um, um ten minutes for us is probably five seconds yeah, for them. Like we yeah, just need to keep on it's waiting. It's such a good point. I forget to do that as well. Yeah. Just when you 
arrive on stage. Take your time. It's yeah. such. A, that's a really valuable point. And people take advantage of it. Musicians take advantage, and you'll see those musicians. They perform really well. Yeah. They take advantage of that, even if it's that extra 10, 20 seconds, a minute. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. People understand. Yeah. Right. The people who are going to come and say, if you're, if you're in a, in a concert style venue or a concert style show, yes, they're going to understand. Things change when you're in a pub like venue. Yeah. So your adrenaline changes. Your, uh, you know, your, your thing. If you're there with a with a with a rock or a funk band and you want to bring energy, well, you're going to be prepared for that. And you're going to go in, yeah. as I say, balls in. You know, it's like go in <laughs> and you're going to you, – you need to make that impact on, on the people because the people either are dancing or they're going to do that in that, in that pub style venue, in that sort of that, that sort of genre of music. you gotta, you got to have that. So you do all your breathing and stuff like that beforehand and then you go in Bam. and you work on adrenaline. Yeah. Whereas with, with my shows, and that, it's like when I open up a show, I usually open up on my own. Yeah. So this is where – Think you just need to go on the stage and and just be make yourself self aware mm. and say, "All right, this is it. Breathe when you're ready. Yes, when you're ready." And ninety nine percent time you don't do that. We all forget. Um, yeah. I don't know if I've ever, to be honest, I don't know if I've ever done it. Um, or I don't. I can't remember when I've last done that. I've done it before the gig, like you said. Yeah. You breathe when you get on. It's almost like you feel this rush. Yeah, I've, I've never done it, and I think the next gig that we're gonna do together, yes. I'm gonna put a checklist, like a set list, on my on the floor. Yeah, I'm gonna say this, 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 just to remind myself. All right. I love that idea, and even I love what you said about after each piece. Yeah, we don't need to just. We bang, don't need bang, to bang into have a conversation with the audience as well. Yeah, after every piece, it, it, that's what I noticed with the last, um, the last show. When you have a conversation with the audience, a the audience like it. Yeah, they do. B it gives you time to recalculate <laughs> things, and you know, gives you a little break as well. Mm. I mean, especially with the flamenco. Um, yeah, there's a lot of a technique. <laughs> it can be a bit intense, but mm. at the same time, you're playing with others as well. Yes. And if you're generating that energy, oh, you know, you're panicking and stuff, what's going to happen? Everyone. Everyone else is going to panic. Yeah. So, um, and, and, and I think there's a lot of musicians at different stages of their lives. You're going to deal with younger musicians, older musicians, some musicians that are, are happy to just stay in the background that you would like for them to come out and do something. They're not comfortable with it. So, um, you got to set an example as yes. well. You know, a lot of musicians are introverts. A lot oh, of them are, right? most of us are. <laughs> so this is gotta, our way to to be. This is our extroverted time because for us, exactly. it's a way we express ourselves. And it's a different world. Yeah, it's a. This is the world where this is our communication. Like yeah. sometimes you'll find that you'll find that you speak to a musician, and if you're not a musician or if you're not an artist, you probably won't understand. Mm. Like me talking to an engineer, yes, or an architect, or a scientist. Um, there are those little things that will, will, will cl- if, if if you're your your normal person, as in normal person that isn't a musician, will talk to a musician, and sometimes the musicians will will try and 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 explain to them what it is because oh you're a musician, oh yeah. So, oh, so what do you play? And then some people go into rigmarole of, of 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 putting all the genres and all the instruments and all of this and all of that and and, and explaining to someone and they're just looking at you thinking, I got no time to listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> and that actually makes you even even worse. It's like <laughs> I've just explained this everything, all my all my gear, all the guitars <laughs> I've got, all the music that I'm playing, and this guy that has got no no idea about music. So yeah. it's that, that 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 thing as well where I think you need to have a split personality when you're, you're a musician. You've got your, your music life and your, your normal life because I've got a lot of friends that, that are not musicians and don't even come to my, my shows. Yeah, yeah, same. That's yeah, fine. That's but I have fine. a lot of fun with them yeah. because I, 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 I break out of that music thing and the thing that I'm doing every day and all day. And it's a bit refreshing just to listen to some normal, 
you know, normal talk and normal um, gander or whatever they want to call it or, you know, gossip and stuff like that. It's just, <laughs> you know, gas bagging, you know. Um, but, yeah, and then, you, you know, you, you switch. You, you, you switch, like you put your, your music your music hat on, as I say, and then that becomes a different world. And then, from from for example, if I'm playing... And my wife is talking to me. I'm ignoring her totally because I'm 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 playing. So, or if anyone else is talking, to me, I'm I'm probably I'm probably looking at him and nodding. I'm not <laughs> registering. <laughs> so, this is the thing where there's that, that split personality. And when when you get into your music, that also affects because that can affect the audience too. So, if you're playing, yeah. you're ignoring the audience. Yeah. So, and that can happen. That's happened to all of us. Oh, it's we've all done it. Yeah. Um, I still tend to <laughs> do it. Look, there are parts that you need to ignore the audience because there are some some place some some things that you need to play and your it's all rehearsed and you need to be on the ball for for them to enjoy it, right? Yes. But not all the time. Not you all know, the time. Sometimes take a look at the audience, take a look at someone because people are just looking at you like this. You know, you probably want to have a look and absorb and enjoy it. Yeah, acknowledge and acknowledge and, them. Acknowledge and enjoy yeah. that they're actually watching you yeah. and they're listening to you. So we forget yeah. about that sometimes. We do. And yeah. um, that's also an art to practice um, through yes. doing more gigs. Even I was doing the mariachi gig yesterday and I realised that there were a few songs I didn't know well enough to actually uh, not look at. And it was uh, we were roaming so we needed oh. to actually really be attentive with our listeners. And um, But it was it was a good practice for me. I went, oh, okay, so this song I'm not able to play it and – then I made a few mistakes and I went, oh, yeah, okay, so I, I need to work on this. Yeah. So it's also a reminder of which songs perhaps you thought you had, yep. right? Oh, you make a point of it in your head. Yeah. 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 So true. Um, that also, and, and, and I think this this comes back to uh, there's a fine line between being prepared and, and, and just having anxiety, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but being so, prepared, the more prepared you are, the yeah, less anxiety you exactly. will have. Exactly. So... What I tend to do sometimes as well, I play in front of my, my family. Yeah, that's great. Or I, 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 you know, I'll, like if people are sitting on the couch, just grab the guitar and just play there. Yeah. And I imagine myself like on stage. So yeah. sometimes I take videos of myself. That's a really good one and then you, you know, can hear it back. And, you can hear it. Yeah. Not only that, that video gives you that level of anxiety as someone's going to watch because if you're going to say, I'm going to put this online. Yes. And that's when that's it. You know, and that, that's there. a good training point. Mm -hmm. um, and and I actually delved into that a bit more as to your anxiety and, and, and your approach. Um, and, and and I'm going to mention the Bulletproof musician, uh, Noah Kageyama, because I, I actually did that course and, and I, I learned a lot from it. Um, he always made a mention of playing in front of a camera. It doesn't have to be a whole piece. Just a little bit, just to get that anxiety, and it'll bring up your anxiety, and then you learn to ground yourself. Like, mm. ground, ground yourself. Take a few deep breaths. Do what you need to do. Um, you know, focus your all your anxiety in, in, into that energy. It's not, it's not a point of not having that adrenaline and, and that and that nervousness. It's about channeling it. Channeling it, yeah. You know? And um, I, th I can't remember who told me this. I think it was a teacher saying it's almost good to have a little bit of anxiety yeah, to help you because you're. It helps with the performance in it a does. sense because it um, because the opposite of that is almost um, apathy or you're gonna fall asleep. Yeah, yeah. You, if you're not here as well, so you're not gonna be playing. You're if you're gonna, if you're there, you're gonna have that. There's no that energy jump. behind. There's no it. energy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's no energy. You're 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 hundred percent right. Um, I know some some musicians in the past that have taken those blockers and stuff like that, you know, just to calm them down. Um, oh. They, yeah, so yeah. they block your all of your receptors that wow. that uh, that that um, that lead to that anxiety and to your and that's uh, butterflies. blocking your creativity yeah. as well. You won't have sense. the butterflies in your stomach. Nothing. You just go out yeah. there and play. Yeah. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. Mm. Um, I've never taken them. Yeah. Um, I've dealt with 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 what I've got. I, I deal with what I have at the moment of regarding anxiety, but I think you got to have that, as you said, you got to have that little bit of nervousness. Otherwise, um, we're all human, right? We're we're, human. You need that and uh, the adrenaline the a little bit. Experience emotions. Yeah. yeah, the adrenaline and yeah. what you said is such great advice. Skim the videos. I forgot it. I used to do that at uni because they made me do that, and I kind of. I haven't done that for a while now, recording 
videos yeah. of myself playing, but it does create that bit of anxiety and it's a good way to practice. I yeah. actually did an open mic, my first open solo open mic for the Boat gig because I was feeling really nervous leading mm. up to it. So it was my solo gig and I just took myself to an open mic and felt nervous but it was a good practice for me yeah so that's another that's way a good to, that's a good and it's idea. really it's a chilled environment yeah. i was still nervous but then it was a way for me to practice my set in a low-key environment Gee, that's a good idea open yeah. mics. i didn't i've never thought about it in, in that way i, yeah, I me always too. think about <laughs> open mics about people who want to new people who want to get out and and, and, and yeah. do what they do and or, or try out a new a, a new career path, you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I haven't thought of it like that. That's a, that's a good idea. It's like a low. You're still performing in front of people. There's yeah. still some nerves there, but it was. I quite. I was actually really nervous, but it was good because because I'd never really done an open mic before in that sense. But uh, it was people I didn't know. I just yeah. went there, and it was kind of cool to just go to a place where I didn't know anyone. Yeah. And just play. And just play. And, and then rather, leave after. <laughs> you know. You know. I. I've heard of stand-up comedians doing this where they go yeah. into a place where no one knows them and, and they try out new material. Yeah. That's probably something we can adapt as musicians going to open – just if they Definitely. accept you. Yeah. Just go up and, 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 and do a set, do a couple of songs and just see what – because chances are you'll probably do something in, a, in an environment where you, you haven't – Played in an environment like that where the genre is completely different, exactly. and they're not expecting you to play anything. So that was exactly what happened. Um, I and just what was <laughs> and what was the response? Oh yeah, they seemed to really enjoy it. But I was just um, I was there with an intent. I just went there and I did a stomp box song with the flute. I mean, yeah. you're not really going to see a you don't see much flute at open mics. No, so, you don't. So it's just a especially different with a stomp box as <laughs> well. Box. Yeah. So I did I did a couple of songs. I did some of the violin. I even. My, my, I was really nervous about the singing part, yeah. so I was practicing the singing with the violin, and I think it went well. Um, I was kind of in my head, but I was pushing myself to to step outside my comfort zone a bit, yeah. and to do. I mean, but I think it's a great. I'll definitely do it again if there's new material or something. I'm. I think I think that's yeah. a great idea. I, I, it's I, just I, a low key environment, even yeah. though. It's but you got to have a bit of courage to do that. Oh uh, yeah, I mean it was. <laughs> you say so, good mean, on you. I yeah. Mean, I, mean, I pushed myself a bit. Sometimes you just you've got to challenge yourself. You got to challenge well. yourself, but you yeah. also you know you're shitting yourself as well. Oh yeah. yeah. At the same time, it's like, <laughs> I'm like why why have why am I inflicting this on myself? Yeah, there was a bit of that. Yeah. But afterwards, I was like, you know what, did it? You know, I can now. There's I've how opened, did you feel afterwards? I was I was also really tired. So uh, you know when you're tired, it was a combination of things. But I I felt good. I f I mean they were receptive, but it was a very male dominated open mic as well so i just felt like i was just wanted to go after yeah. so i just left but the bar staff liked it you know <laughs> they there seemed to enjoy it something you know different. it's important for the staff to like your music it's very important yeah yeah um because that's another anxiety thing if, if the venue or the bar staff don't like it that and they're looking at you <laughs> and thinking oh, that's going to get your anxiety up and yeah. you want to <laughs> grab your grab your stuff and exit stage left yeah. you know <laughs> <laughs> but it's a, that's a very good point um, to challenge yourself in environments that are not familiar with, with, with you. So, like, if you go and play a genre of music where that place has never seen that, I never heard that genre. That's that's got to take balls yeah. because you don't want to end up like the Blues Brothers where they throw bottles through the cage. <laughs> 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 so, um, but look. Yeah. yeah, everyone's got different methods, and uh, yeah. you know it's not it's not one one, one size fits all, no, and it's not one method. You, this is going to help you with. No, you know. no, we're sharing what we've um, yeah our what, thoughts and what, what our thoughts and what yeah. we've experienced. Yeah, um, I, I think the main point here is just to be aware, be yeah, aware, yeah, be aware where you are, what you're doing, why you're doing it, mm. um, and make sure that you know. You're prepared as much as possible and have fun with it and, and give it to the audience. Leave everything on the stage. You know, when you're, you know, when you're performing, just go for it. We're, the, we're all going to make mistakes. We all make mistakes. We're, we're, we're all human. It's not about um, having that perfect performance all the time. If you're, if you're in a philharmonic and you're leading and you're a lead violinist or a lead pianist, well, you probably want to make that perfect. But, <laughs> but, <Yeah. laughs> but in in a, in a different sense, 
yeah, it depends on how strict your genre is. It depends on what sort of genre you're doing. It depends on what instrument you're playing. Yeah. But have fun with it. Have Enjoy fun it. anyway. Like even, yeah. I mean, but the breathing, like you said, all those little reminders, even like you said, the positive words beforehand, how yeah. your posture is right before these can, you know, again, like if you're sitting like this right before you go on stage, you're kind yeah. of containing that anxiety yeah, in a way and, and, and you're manifesting it yeah it's like it's, you're stewing you're gonna get, in it yeah you're, you're stewing in it the- it's gonna get bigger and bigger and this whole massive <laughs> green cloud above you is gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger you have to burst through that but um, and what you said as well take i think the key i mean especially once you're once you're out there take your time take your time take your time that's such a i finish forgot about the flow that yeah, take your time flow. that's yeah. it and 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 at the end of the day you're going to feel better after the gig because so many times after a gig I've felt so tired, so drained. I, I don't want to talk to anyone. <laughs> I, I just want to go home and, 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 and just chill out. Yeah. But other gigs, you know, you want to go and speak to people. You know, you know when you've had a good gig, you want to go and speak to people. You want to engage the, the public because they're there to see you, you know. So, you want to yeah. thank them for coming. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. want to talk to you. Yeah, of yeah. course, of course. Yeah. Um, and then after that, you want to you want to sell merch as well. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the, yeah. I, th- I think very important anxiety, music. Um, sometimes th- people think that it goes hand in hand, but you can you can use methods and and you can minimize the anxiety. Um, as you said before, you got to have that little bit of nervousness, a bit of that general general running. But I think at the end of the day, if you can control that and control that energy. Mate, you'll 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 produce magic on stage. Mm, yeah, and that's about it. I think for today, I think yeah. we're going to call it. Yeah. Uh, really good, really good, really good episode. Really good, really good subject. Um, just wanted to say a uh, big thanks to our sponsor, Cake Eclipse, for these beautiful cakes. Yum. Um, we're going to have them after we <laughs> finish up. Um, thanks, Amla. Thank you, Valentino. Till next See time. You next week. Ciao. <laughs> The Striker Chord Podcast, presented to you by ValentinoFlamico.com and AmlaMusic.com.